If you've been paying attention to the news recently, you might have noticed a strange story coming out of Indonesian New Guinea. A creature that many thought to be extinct was rediscovered, and this creature was Sir David's long-beaked echidna. This echidna is one of four species of echidna, and many were thrilled to find out that it was still alive. Around the same time, a skink that was also feared to be extinct was also discovered, and this just goes to show that creatures we believe to be long extinct can still be out there. Australia is one of the countries that's lost the most species over the past few centuries, and this is mostly due down to invasive species and loss of habitat. A large number of Australian creatures are gone for good, but thankfully some have been rediscovered. In today's video, I will be going through just a few of these creatures, and we'll start off with Leadbeater's possum. This species is found in the central highlands of Victoria, and it's a non-gliding possum and the only member of its genus. This species is restricted to small pockets of alpine ash, mountain ash and snow gum, and historically it was relatively common. This possum was first discovered in 1867, and only five specimens were ever found, with the last one being collected in 1909. From then on, it was believed that the species was extinct, and after swamps and wetlands were drained in its area in the early 1900s, it was believed that there was no way back for them. If this wasn't enough, the Black Friday fires of 1939 ravaged the area, and it seemed to be impossible for any possums to have survived. In 1961, a naturalist named Eric Wilkinson ventured into Victoria's central highlands. He was determined to prove that the Leadbeater's possum still existed, and eventually he discovered a small population. This population is still very much at risk today, and logging and feral cats are some of their main threats. The next species we will be taking a look at is the Armoured Mist Frog. This frog is a species of torrent tree frog, and it's native to a small area in northeastern Queensland. This species is associated with fast-flowing creeks and streams, but you're very unlikely to find it in the wild. This frog is sometimes referred to as the Little Waterfall Frog, and it was first discovered in 1976. Its numbers started to decline in the late 1980s, and by the early 1990s they had almost disappeared. Strangely, this frog story is not uniquely Australian, as it's a story shared by many other amphibians around the world. Citrid fungus wipes out millions of amphibians around the world, and it almost completely wiped out this frog too. For over a decade, there was no sign of this species, but eventually a small population was discovered in 2008. This was when a university student conducting research on another species in the Wet Tropics World Heritage Area came across what he thought was an armoured mist frog. DNA tests proved that he had discovered a new population, and the armoured mist frog wasn't extinct after all. Strangely, a large number of this population were infected with citrid fungus, but it seems as though they had developed some resistance to the disease. Once again, these frogs are still threatened today, with the remaining population thought to number around 500 to 1,000 mature individuals. Hopefully more can be done to help this frog in the future, but for now, it continues to hang on. The next creature we will be taking a look at is the mountain pygmy possum. This species is a small mouse-sized marsupial, and it's mainly found in southern Victoria and the highlands of New South Wales. This species is mostly found in rocky areas, and it likes to feed on insects, nuts, seeds and fruits. This possum was first discovered in 1895, and this was from a few bones including a skull and a jaw. At the time, the species was believed to be extinct, and it was not until 1966 when a first living individual was found. The reason this species hadn't been sighted since its discovery was the fact that it requires a very specific habitat. It lives in alpine regions and hibernates during the winter, and it requires continuous snow coverage for up to five months of a year. Global warming and introduced predators made its life even harder, and that's why today it is still critically endangered. This possum's story is unique to this list as it was thought to be extinct when discovered, but thankfully they can still be found in some remote areas. <laughs> The next creature we will be taking a look at is Lord Howe Island Stick Insect. This insect also goes by the name of Tree Lobster, and it's a species of stick insect that lives on the Lord Howe Island group. 
Once again, it is the only member in its genus, and it's one of the largest non-flying stick insects. It can measure up to 20 centimeters long, with males being 25% smaller than females. This species was once extremely common across Lord Howe Island's group, and fishermen would commonly use them as bait. This all changed after a tragic incident, when a supply ship ran aground in 1918. This introduced black rats onto the island, and these rats fed on the insects. After 1920, no tree lobsters could be found, and many believed them to be extinct. Decades later, in 1964, climbers were exploring a nearby island known as Bull's Pyramid. While they were there, they discovered a dead tree lobster, and this led to multiple missions to try and find a living one. Many of these missions were unsuccessful, but in 2001, three living insects were discovered. After many successful captive breeding projects, they were brought back from the brink of extinction, but today their wild population is still fewer than 40 individuals. It's amazing that we still have this iconic insect, but it's definitely not out of the woods yet. The final species we will be taking a look at is Gilbert's Potteroo. Gilbert's Potteroo is Australia's most endangered marsupial, and it's the rarest marsupial in the world. It's found in southwestern Western Australia, and it's mostly nocturnal and lives in small groups. It was first discovered by John Gilbert in 1840, and it was described as a small rat kangaroo. A few specimens were collected from 1840 to 1870, but by 1909 it was believed to be extinct. This species suffered because of the destruction of its natural habitat and the introduction of feral predators. After not being spotted for around a century, eventually it was rediscovered in 1994. A PhD student was trying to study coacas and set traps in Two People's Bay Nature Reserve. She discovered two unknown marsupials, and at first they were believed to be juvenile coacas. After further studies, they were discovered to be Gilbert's potteroos, and it was a shock to the science world. Later on in 2015, it was believed that a large number of them were wiped out in a bushfire, but luckily a few of them were rescued before the fire swept through. Today, they still have a very small population in the wild, but their numbers have been slowly increasing. All of these stories illustrate how fragile island ecosystems can be, and they also show us how much damage humans and invasive species can cause. It's important that we learn from our mistakes, and help the remaining endemic species of Australia to bounce back. There are of course a few other species that I could have included in this video, but I have already covered some of their stories before. If you know of any others, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.